Welcome everybody, my name is Zach Worlinger, and the only thing better than picture day is media day. We're going to talk to some of the local reporters, kind of flip the script. Let's see how this goes. We're here with Zach from ESPN Tucson. Zach, how are we feeling this morning on this wonderful media day? Oh man, I feel great. Energy in the room. This is always one of my favorite days of the year, no doubt. Me too. Now, get a close-up. Look at this beard, ladies and gentlemen. What's the that. secret? to the great red beard. Years and years of work. I've had this beard for like 10 years, and you just, a little beard oil, patience, oh, wonderful thing. That is impressive. Thank you. Here with the voice of the Wildcats, Brian Jeffries. Brian, favorite Wildcat moment in your career? Well, that was the day Matt Dudick was hired on campus. It changed everything. First of all, everyone got to eat better, and not only that, we're bigger and stronger now, too. The day Matt Dudick got hired, we were better off for all of us. Thank you, Brian. Okay, here with Matt from Go AZ Cats. Matt, can you tell me how many stars I had coming out of high school? Uh, on, on my rankings? I would, on your rankings. In my rankings, you would have five. Here with Ashley Brewer from Channel 9 News. Ashley, tell us, what's the strategy to an effective Media Day outfit? Media Day outfit? Oh my gosh. Well, I didn't put a lot of thought into this one. I just thought you don't want to look too fancy. You know, you don't want to look like you're trying too hard. Right. This is like a nice Sunday morning church dress that I would consider wearing to church. I thought it was good for like a morning interview, yeah. you know? Not Simple, but but put together. My good friends, Parker Zellers and Tellus Jones. Tellus, I hear, I hear you're one of my biggest fans. Is that true? Very true. Since day one, you've been here. I like the way you play. I like your intensity on the field. And what you showed against the NAU, I loved it, man. Just solidifies yourself as my favorite quarterback. Oh, tell us, you are too kind. Parker, how are we feeling this morning on, uh, on Media Day? We're feeling great, you know, we're happy to be here. Uh, camp's pretty much over with. Um, I tell us didn't have, but I, I do admire your singing too. You have a great, great singing voice, and uh, you know I think you should maybe can consider going on like a one of those reality, not reality shows, but uh, what do you call it, like American Idol or The Voice, any of that. America's Got Talent, any of that. So yeah, these guys are too kind, folks. We got a lot of red hair going on. We got Caitlin from Mississippi, our new social media overlord. Tell us what does that job entail? Taking care of all the Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Basically making everybody look pretty online all the time. Wow, making everybody look... There he is, the head man himself. We don't have to make this guy look pretty any more than he does. Look at that hair. It's yeah, yeah. Did anybody hear about his latest talent show performance? Another great rendition of Frank Sinatra. I'm waiting for New York, New York. You know, I, that was That's funny. I was... Yeah, I think maybe for the finale, just to set them all off, just to kind of go out with a bang, but... We'll find a karaoke joint. We'll have a huge crowd. It might be for the opener. Stay tuned. Zach Worlinger and Frank Sinatra. We're here with the man himself, Blair Willis. Blair, tell us what's the secret to an effective media day? Communication and organization. Just like a practice for you guys, we got to be organized and ready for all units ready. It could be organized chaos today. All units ready. Um, best player to uh, to throw out an in interview. Uh, you. Me. That's what I like to hear, folks. The war ginger, easiest guy for the interviews. Here with Daniel Burke, also known as Berkey. Berkey, tell us, what is it like um, to be on the other side? It's nice to be on the other side. You know, when you're a reporter, everyone's afraid of you. You kind of walk into a room and everyone just takes off around the other way. You know, no one ever wants to talk to the reporter. But when you can put on the block A and just kind of say, hey, go here, go there, everyone loves you. Love it. I think everyone loves you. Something to do with that fresh haircut. Is that the... Uh, is that something new we got going on? Very fresh. Went a little tighter on the sides yeah. at the recommendation of uh, some ladies. Yeah. And uh, I think it's a good look, personally. I think I'm looking pretty good. I bet they're lining up for you, Berkey. I mean, I don't want to get it going too bad because I already got a pretty long line, but yeah. It's not easy, but somebody's got to do it, right? Exactly. Somebody around here's got to do it, and Berkey's doing it for us, folks. Folks, here with Jason Shear from Arizona Scout. Jason, how are the message boards doing? Is there anything uh, popping up about the, the red blur? Uh, it should be yours truly. Everything. That's Everything. All, that's all we talk about. That's what I figured. Here were some of my two favorite big fellas up front, Nate Eldridge and Jacob Alsadek. Nate, tell us, what is it like to play next to Jake on the offensive line? Oh, it's great. <laughs> does he Does he smell? Always. Does he sweat a lot? <laughs> Pools of sweat. Guys, do you want to defend your case here, Jake? No, nah, I think he's spot on, actually. Is all that hair or what? Uh, yeah, you know, it gets really hot under all the hair. It's like you always have a sweater on 24-7, yeah. so it's pretty hard, you know. Uh, you know, I get bullied a lot too. Everybody asks me if I'm ever gonna get waxed, and you know, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. You, you wear it well, Jake. Thank you. Doesn't he wear it well, folks? Zach, I, I see you uh, 
missed me on your target of interviews. Uh, is there any, any story behind that? Uh, you spell your first name wrong, in my opinion. If you're a K, I'm an H. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I hear the H's are more intelligent, though. Is that any truth to that? There might, there might be some truth to that. Yeah, I figured. Folks, Zach Rosenblatt with a K and Sean Poindexter. Okay, folks, there's nothing more to be said. You've heard it here from the best interviewer on this floor. I'm Zach Rolinger. Until next time, my friends.